Hey y'all, Jackie here and welcome to Fantastical Follies where sometimes we run out of time. If you're new here, welcome. And if you're returning, welcome back to the insanity, my friends. Today, I'm going to chaos sew a witchy cape based on a 1930s pattern with a self-drafted hood in participation with Cape Timber, hosted by Shannon Makes and Jillian Eve. I'm super excited to be participating in this sew along. There's something about banding together with others with a single goal in mind that can be a lot of fun. And also, it's time that capes came back into everyday wear, 100%. So the stipulations of the sew along, or let's be more specific, make along are simple. Make a cape or a cloak or a wrapper any sort of garment that wraps around your shoulders using any sort of fiber art. While it doesn't have to be finished in September, everyone who does finish in September will be featured in a collage video at the end of the month. I want to be on that video. I was determined to finish. Will I? You'll have to stay tuned to find out. Since this is a bonus video and several things that I'll mention here in a minute did go wrong before I was able to start this project, this is going to be a very informal, mostly unscripted, very chaotic video. And if you've ever been on a time crunch and know what it's like to be facing a deadline a week away and not having even started your project, make sure you hit that like button and share your experience with me in the comments below so we can commiserate together. <sighs> okay, let's get the chaos started. Okay, day one of chaos project. Before I get started sewing this cape, let's talk about the plan for the project. Plan. A. I bought this um, wool cashmere nylon blend from Penny River Costumes, who was having like a little garage sale. It is a heavyweight coating, and I thought it's pretty, it's red, it would make a great cloak. I have about a yard and some plus plus some weird little bits. And then as I was planning this and looking at linings, I was thinking, you know what? I'm never gonna wear this. I live in Texas. This is gonna be heavy as I'll get out. Like. Why would I spend all this time and money on something that I'm not gonna wear? So I nixed it. Plan B. After I decided to nix the cloak idea, I thought, well, you know what else would be really cool is if I had like a nice witchy cloak. So I bought some really pretty uh, purple shot with green silk taffeta. I bought it on September 1st. It is now September 20th and it still hasn't shipped, but uh, Cape Timber only runs until the end of September in theory and I don't have my fabric yet, so that got next too. Plan C. Then I was thinking, well, what can I do with the stuff that I already have? Because I don't wanna have to wait for other fabric to come in. And I have this play suit that I was planning on doing a video for. It's super cute, it's from the 30s. It has a little bathing suit and then like a cape and a hood. And the cape can be made into a skirt, which I think is a brilliant idea. I will probably wear it more like a skirt than a cape, but in any case. I bought this jungle print fabric last year to do a pair of jungle pants, but it's five yards of it, and I just feel like those are gonna be super wide and super crazy, so I decided a play suit would be better uh, use of this material. However, I would like to line the skirt with a, or cape, with a different color so that I can mix and match my look. And I have a very specific color teal in mind that's a little bit darker than this. And not a single fabric company has that color in stock in a reasonable priced fabric. So that went by the wayside too. Plan D. All right, I'm in tax season right now and I'm super busy and stressed and have so much going on. And I really wanted to participate in this this year because I missed it last year. So I was thinking, well, what can I do that doesn't cost a lot of money? How many capes do I really need in Texas? I can only wear uh, outerwear for like two months out of the year. Right now, the weather has cooled down to the mid 90s and it will be in the mid 90s, upper 90s and upper 80s until probably the middle of November. So I get December and January to wear cool stuff and I have a leather coat that I pretty much live in. I didn't wanna make another cape or cloak because that would be four and oh, what the hell am I gonna do with all of that? So I was thinking, you know, what would be a good idea? I wanted to mock up the jungle cape and I wanted to mock up the hood that I wanted to use for the silk cape or cloak that will probably get made at some point if I ever get that silk. I didn't want to spend a lot of money, so 
I went to my neighborhood box store and I bought some black fabric. I wanted 100% cotton. They didn't have any quilting cotton in black. My theory is, is that a black cloak or a black half cape is pretty much ubiquitous. I can use it for a gazillion things, so it was worth spending a little bit of money on because I can use it. Um, I waited for like 20 minutes for somebody to come cut some cotton twill for me and nobody showed up. I lost my temper and I ended up with four yards of just basic black poly cotton blend. Now this isn't ideal because it's kind of see-through. It's going to be very lightweight, but that's okay. You know, I, I'm i not going to be wearing it for fashion purposes. It's going to be mostly for costumes. And so I won't be wearing it for long periods of time in theory. And I use this same fabric as lining for my black taco dress and I wear that all the time. So why am I complaining anyway? It was cheap. It was like 10 bucks for four yards of fabric, which is perfect. So the plan is today to get this iron and get everything cut out and marked for the cape and the hood so that in two days from now, when I have time again, I can go ahead and get everything sewn up. I do think I'm gonna add some trim to this to kind of make it pretty, we'll see. It's going to depend on how much time I have, but that is the plan. Let's see if I can get it done. This is a four yard length of fabric. I want to see how short this cape is gonna be if I only use three yards, because I really don't wanna spend all that money on more fabric for my jungle dress. So I would like to see how short it's gonna be if I just use three. Air the other side, you see. I have marked a yard in right here. I'm just gonna cut this unceremoniously. It's mostly lined up. This is the pattern for the cape. Cut two from the front and two from the back. I am going to lay this out flat and arrange it. My, my plan is to take width off the bottom here, and then I may or may not add like an inch to this part here, depending on how short I have to make it to fit onto my fabric. I'm not necessarily worried about this particular cape because it's gonna be what it is. I don't really care how long it's going to be, but I do care about the jungle one um, because it's going to be a skirt and um, there's definitely a sweet spot for skirt length for me. I'm gonna go ahead and do this. I am starting to lose the light, so we may or may not get this on camera, but Regardless, I will check back with you after it's finished and I've drafted the hood. Well, folks, uh, that explains that look. I could almost get it. And if I wanted to piece this together and have a wheel piece, I could just cut it out of the three yards. I'm astounded. However, I am going to take it up just a little bit because I do think it's going to be too long on me. I think I'm gonna go up three inches and um, just cut it from there. And that should be enough to get the whole thing out of this. And then I can start drafting the hood. Okay, well, I'm an idiot. I thought I was so smart and I added an inch to the front and the back so that I would have a full four inches extra since um, that's about what the difference is between my waist measurement and the waist measurement of this pattern. And then promptly got halfway through cutting this one seam on the front and realized I was cutting on the line instead of on my seam allowance, whoops. But I did remember to do it on the back. So I'm just gonna do it with the extra two inches on the back and see how it is. I'm less concerned about it for this cape because it's a cape. The other one is going to function as a cape and a skirt. So we'll try it with this and I will put it around my hips and see, make sure that it fits. And if it doesn't, then I will compensate with the other one. I'm gonna get everything marked up and uh, I will see you all in a little bit. First off, I am really sorry if you can hear the people doing yard work downstairs. Unfortunately, I only have 10 minutes to do this and it cannot wait. Chaos, yay! Okay, so let's draft this hood. The width of my hood is going to be 17 inches. I'm not gonna write that down because it's gonna be backwards or upside down or something. And then the length that I need is uh, 23. Now that's including an inch of seam allowance. I know this seems quite large, especially 
tall, but I want it to be really dramatic and it won't look that big once I put it on. Then I'm just going to kind of draw by hand there. So here's the top. Let's make it, let's make it a little bit lighter. The silk one I'm gonna make smaller probably purely for the fact that silk is expensive um, and I'm using like $2 a yard cotton for this and it's just black so um, it'll, the, the huge hood will add some drama to an otherwise very plain garment. All right, let's cut it out. So I'm gonna go get this cut out of fabric and then we will be ready to assemble. Here's the hood. Now I was smart. I cut the straight front edge on the selvage. This did waste a little bit of extra fabric, but that's one less seam that I have to worry about finishing. The hood is going to get sewn here on the curved edge and then we will gather this to the width of the neck. So we're good to go. Let's get this pinned and assembled. Now I have chosen not to finish these edges for two reasons. One, because I'm low on black thread for my machine and I don't want to have to go to the store just for a spool of thread so I need to make sure I have enough to get me through this whole project. And two, I don't have the mental alacrity right now to change the thread on my serger, especially because everything else I'm working on right now needs white thread and I'd have to change it and then rechange it. and it just isn't worth the time. I will probably eventually serge these edges just to keep it nice and neat, but it's not gonna happen today. It's gonna happen when I have the thread to do it. Pissed. Well, the options are taking this apart, ripping it apart, re-sewing it, but I don't feel like doing that. So I'm just gonna go ahead and hem the front edge of the hood anyway. I mean, it will probably look better in any case. So I'll just suck it up and do it. I think that'll take less time than seam ripping that. I turned under twice and sewed the front edges as well as the front edge of the hood. The pattern wants me now to add some facing to the top of this and make a drawstring. I am not gonna do that with this one since this is just going to be a cape and not a cape and a skirt. I don't need to adjust the width of the top. I'm just gonna gather it. So I'm gonna skip that step. And now what I'm gonna do is take some of this pretty one inch jacquard ribbon that I've got and I'm gonna trim the front. I was gonna try and do this and this seam at once but instinct was telling me that was a bad idea. So um, I listen to my gut when it talks to me. Feed me seam all. all right, so I'm gonna do this to the front of the hood and both fronts of the cape, and I will check back with you in a bit. I think I was getting ahead of myself with the trim. I have some other things that I need to do first before I get that started. So what I'm gonna do is make a couple of ties, well, loops for ties that will get placed in the center front. This is a one and a half inch strip of fabric. I did not measure the length of it. It's probably, I don't know, nine or 10 inches. And I am going to sew it and cut it. After sewing, I turned it right side out, ironed it down, cut it in two, and attached the two loops to the cape. I've put two rows of gathering stitches on the hood and the cape. I have previously set it to 25 inches here, which is kind of how long I think I want it or how big around I want it. Gathered this, and now I've got this pinned to the same exact width, and I'm just going to pull my gathering stitches. I pinned the centers and then pulled from each side so we have a little bit more of an even gather.
There, now I'm gonna pin this together and get it sewn. All right, so last night, predictably, I was rushing and managed to not sew this right sides together. I sewed like right side to wrong side. So I had a, and of course, I had not realized it until after I took out all of my basting stitches. So I had to go back and redo the hood part completely. And in the process of doing that, I decided that I wanted to go ahead and add the trim before I physically attach the rest of this so that I can make sure it is perfectly aligned instead of trying to fold things over. So what I have done is sewn on the front. Here's the front and I've sewn on the hood, but I left about an inch open. Here is the loops too, here are the loops. So now what I'm going to do is use my threads to gather this down to make sure that they are the same size. So there we go, now we are even. And I'm gonna take a pin, actually, I'm going to cut the ribbon off. There we go. So that I can make sure that the ribbon is perfectly aligned and then what I'm gonna do is pin it this way so it doesn't shift. And I'm gonna do the thing where I sew gently over the pin. And that way it should be perfectly aligned. I just wanna note that just because I'm rushing doesn't mean I'm not taking the time to iron all my seams. It really is the difference between something looking professionally done and something looking like not. All right, so we are hemmed. I'm not 100% sure that I wanna put trim on the bottom of this. So what I'm going to do is take my giant roll of jacquard trim and pin it on and hang it up and see how I like it. Sometimes I like to live with my trim decisions a little bit before I finalize everything. Sometimes the things in your head that you think are gonna look good don't always look good. And sometimes something you don't think is gonna look good ends up looking awesome. So I can't believe these words are coming out of my mouth, but I'm concerned that it might be too busy with the trim on the bottom because this is going to be an all-purpose cape that is meant to go with a lot of different costumes. I'm wondering if the extra trim is going to be too much. I do like the trim on the bottom. I'm going to cut this off and leave a little extra just in case I need it. That is that. I'm gonna hang this up and uh, I'll catch back with you all tomorrow. I managed to get this thing done. So many things went wrong. I really didn't think I was going to do it. It wasn't my original plan and I do wish that I hadn't had to scramble to find a project, but it, it all worked out. I like this cape. I think it's going to be a very versatile piece in my costume wardrobe. If you're still watching, thank you so much for making it this far. I appreciate each and every one of you. If you haven't already, please consider subscribing to my channel. It goes a long way toward getting my weird little videos seen. So if you'd like to, please consider hitting that subscribe button. While I am happy with this cape, which is really a wearable mock-up, there are a few things I'd probably change. I do wish I'd made it a little longer. I like the length for the jungle cape, but I feel like I wanted more drama with this one. Maybe I'll add a little bit extra later down the line. I have plenty of fabric. For my silk cape, I'm going to make the hood narrower because it's like super wide, and I definitely don't want to use up that much expensive fabric. I also think that I could have gathered the whole cape narrower because it's kind of like 
falling off my shoulders a little. And I also think I'll eventually line the hood. The reason I didn't do the lining now is because I'd like to keep this cape completely neutral in color. And I'm stuck on a contrasting color that wouldn't sway too warm, like a purple or red, or too cool, like blue or green, and prevent me from wearing it with all the things. If anyone has an idea that's not pastel, those wash me out. Let me know because I can't think of a good contrasting color. Thank you all so much for watching. Also, a huge thanks to Shannon Makes and Jillian Eve for hosting this event. I appreciate all the work you do and I'm so glad I got to participate this year, even if everything sort of went wrong. That's about it for me. Stay tuned next Thursday for the much anticipated reveal of my brain reticule. Thank you all so much for watching and I'll catch you later.